here is our checklist. Second to last item, nylon covers of flotation. Yay! Yeah, that looks good. It's good. One okay. down. Three to go. <laughs> so we are coming mighty close to the end of this. Let's see how it sails. There's a lot of unknowns. Could be structural failure. I'm expecting a lot of requirements for rig tuning, getting the sail to hang right, and all that kind of thing. It's uh, really fun. Step on to rigging. Sleeves out of this PVC for the attach points running up the mast. Doesn't sound very aesthetic. You can kind of clean these up. a contact point between the tiller and tiller extension. Be nice not to have that rub and at the same time be nice to have a little piece of velcro. It would make these two a unit until you want to take them apart. So that I think will work. Let's see if we can bend the sails on to the boom and the gaff. All right, I think that's uh, good enough to try to raise the sail tomorrow. I like a loose-footed uh, sail. It gives an easy way to control the curvature. I really like this. Uh, I'm sure it's not approved nautical technique, but these little lashings, uh, just doing a simple knot and then a little bit of hot glue, uh, it means if I really want to take it apart, and just munch up the hot glue and retie. Alright, so we get a nice tight bowling on here. Make the bridle for attaching to the gaff, uh, and then that will get attached to the halyard. <laughs> well, it is not ideal weather to complete the rigging. But I got the day off, the sail all bent on and coiled up. Second urethane's cured, so we can take it off of here. Actually raise the sail for the first time. Try out this. pin is in, clip the halyard on to the gaff, alright first thing is
rig the sheet. Well, I've been a little worried about this home design sale. It's not terrible. Identification number, but nobody can tell me where to go now to get a title. OH3295FX. Let's make sure I'm not. Okay. Well, half legal. So, Doug, how do you feel about the name Grace? Kind of a graceful looking lines on this boat, uh -huh. but there's more to it than that. The cool thing about Biblical Christianity is encapsulated in that word grace. It means uh, the idea that God wants to give us a gift that we don't have to earn, which really boils down to the gift of His love and relationship. Unconditional love eternal relationship with him. Grace. Greek chorus. Grace. What? Uh -oh. No, 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 don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, you put this <laughs> down and I'll, I'll I do think it. it would come down, the thing you're seeing. No, it's going to come down. Um, it's going to... I like the slightly fanciful font. I do too. Let's get the tape off. Yep, take the tape off. Yay! I like it. I like We're it. done. Now you gotta try to sail it. Uh huh. No facial. Oh, that looks great. What fun. Uh, one thing I'm gonna go ahead and take care of. Board I'd made to lay in here while rigging so that the mast can ride along it. I want to replace that with something that will also pick up the mat, uh, the boom and the gaff <clears throat> because what I found is as you're moving them in and out of the positions they need to be in as you're feeding the mast through the sleeves getting ready to raise it they bounce on and off this thwart that's going to beat them up <clears throat> and also get stuck. See what happens. So I think this will be good. It carries all three spars. I'm trying to experiment. Shorten this one more inch and that two more inches. It's not bad. We'll sail it a bit, see how it plays out. It would be crazy, but I'm seriously thinking about sailing today. <laughs> it might still be ice on the reservoir, but uh, just really want to see what happens. This is crazy, but my buddy JT is willing to join me in the craziness. It's starting to feel chilly. <laughs> It's really cold. Uh, awesome. See if it falls over with the mast in it. That's beautiful. I love that. 
not a procedure I wanted to practice on this first outing. <laughs> This is nuts, but I just couldn't stand not knowing. <laughs> Had fire in the pants. Yep. Considering you're a rolling boat. Snow drift. First time dagger board in the water. First time tiller in the hand. See how this works. There you go. All right, guys, throw the, you got it? push it forward and throw the bow line aboard. <laughs> so we got a problem there. A lot of weather helm. little bit of a crease so it actually needs more peak oh that's fun let's see if we can bring her about Yeehaw! One more tack! <laughs> It's just, it locks. That's a little dangerous. I'm gonna have to redo this entirely. This is me, a happy sailor. I'm pretty damn happy. I, there's a lot of things that could have gone wrong that didn't, so awesome. All right. Hell yeah. List of to-dos. Move the block. Bring this up so it rotates all the way. See if that's good enough to make it operational. And at the peak, take some of that slack out. As this tensions, I've got a single lashing that holds this in place and needs to be tight to keep the jaws up against this uh, but it doesn't have to simultaneously tighten this so I think what I need to do is double lash that maybe a less stretchy halyard I got quarter inch uh, braided nylons not too stretchy it's not the not the three strand stuff and as I started sailing I noticed there's probably almost six inches uh, and that's, that in turn lets the uh, peak fall down, especially quarter inch to five sixteenths and find some less stretchy stuff. All right, so now we've decoupled the lashing for the throat to the gaff from this next one. Oh, and we got a little bit of gear. A dry bag, compact anchor, folding grapnels, replacement halyard. 
It's at a quarter inch, this is 5 sixteenths, and uh, much less stretchy. So it's up above the thwart, and there we go, there's a little dagger board plug. Uh, this is probably crazy, but... See if it's possible to raise the sail solo. That looks pretty good. Actually, looks really good. Stiffer halyard, tighten at the throat, tighten at the peak. Tightened at the clue, and uh, definitely has picked the boom up quite a bit better. Fleet works well. Close reach here. toes up. That's the only thing that's cold. Tack and uh, heave to, 
drop the sail and get under oars, I think. Thank you.